वेलकम टू नेचर बुक रिव्यू अ वीडियो शोकेसिंग बुक्स ऑन नेचर एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ द नॉर्थ पोल ऑफ आवर प्लैनेट अर्थ इज कॉल्ड एज द आर्टिक एंड साउथ पोल इज कॉल्ड एज एंटार्टिक द अर्लीएस्ट ह्यूमन हैबिटेशन इन आर्टिक डेट्स बैक टू अराउंड थर्टी थाउजेंड ईयर्स वेल एज आवर कॉन्टैक्ट विद अंटार्टिक इज मियरली फाइव हंड्रेड ईयर्स ओल्ड The contact was established when European explorers started exploring planet for mapping the planet as well as creating new territories as well as for business. The report came from Antarctic that it is good for business and there reached traders the sealers and whalers. Millions and millions of barrels of oils blubber fur was extracted from penguin seals and whales. There are reports that how penguins were herded together towards the boiling pot they were burnt alive when antarctica is covered with ice fully during winter season it is larger than australia larger than us as well it is one of the windiest one of the coldest as well as one of the loftiest place on the planet though it is very cold it has lot of wildlife lot of biodiversity various species of penguins seals dolphins fish whales are there the cold waters around antarctic they have lot of planktons to support this diversity so here is the book that tells us about the animals of antarctic ecology of far south by bernard stonehouse animals of the antarctic the ecology of the far south by bernard stonehouse you can see a penguin colony here now let's go through the book it is published by eurobook limited in 1972 it's fairly old book there's a logo of peter lowe over here okay now what are the contents there the first introduction then antarctic region antarctic ocean antarctic islands antarctic birds mammals of antarctica man and antarctic then there's a bibliography glossary and index okay let's go through the book you can see there are plenty of photographs scattered throughout with some some kind of a topographical illustrations are also there it's it's it tells us about how deep the ice is and how deep the sea bottom is the text you can see it is arranged in two columns justified the font size is also fairly readable okay so here is the history of the antarctica and you can see all the old eras have been given here and there's a nice part is it has been compared antarctica and world parallelly and here is the map how antarctica got created here and the south pole okay now here is a one photo midnight sunshine cast long shadows 16 to 20 km long over the jagged peaks of southern antarctic peninsula on graham island here is the topo uh, illustration what i used to tell uh, okay now this is the map then when we move ahead there are photographs of smallest insect found on the continent then algaes and mosses few caves into the permafrost then about antarctic ocean oceanic currents about ice the biodiversity inside the ocean that is oceanic biodiversity under water now here is the food web given nicely food web of antarctic region the squid the antarctic islands the maps of the islands are given very nicely Yeah, you can see along with the some of the human explorers as well. The maps are scale maps, so there is a scale line given. 
then seal photograph in its habitat okay now well, this is uh, this is called as kerguelen cabbage once famous as a source of vitamin c for mariners brown skua in a thread display on a green moss encrusted slopes of a herd island now kerguelen island was one of the important island for whalers and sealers let's go to antarctic birds it has a nice display nice photograph of bird diversity of antarctic as well as here is the distribution chart here is the diversity of birds and here is the uh, main antarctic continent peninsula and different archipelagos so where these birds are distributed is given over here you can see thousands of thousands of penguins along the shore king penguins emperor penguins there are underwater photographs of the penguin dive as well penguins feeding the petrels few illustrations color illustrations the wandering albatross petrel fulmar then okay here you can see how opportunistic petrels can be feeding on a dead elephant seal then some of the migratory patterns of the birds which come from north region to the south region then few ducks brown squaws they are trying to eat meat from a injured penguin the text is also very nice english is not very difficult now here is the oh, very beautiful graphical representation of how whales were killed per season from 1924 to 1969 fin whale you can see the graph suggests to about 25000 the the baleen whales illustrated tooth whales dolphins whaling you can see then elephant seals different types of seals a kind of illustration over here the skull anatomy you can see how a human is dwarfed by a elephant seal that can grow as large as 13 feet 18 feet as well okay now here is the important section of man and antarctic how antarctic was discovered how in olden map old maps antarctic was depicted it was thought of such a big continent then this is the deserted colony on island of kerguelen then few drawings from captain james cook's expedition here you can see the storage cans of the oils at some places still hunting goes on very very controlled ones But you can see here harpooner is harpooning a whale then cleaning going on the first antarctic factory the whaling station in south georgia opened in 1904 its catchers scoured the rich seas around the south georgia for nearly 60 years now the station lies derelict depiction of how sperm whale was harpooned then of course the future of the animals very important now whaling is banned in this region so research is going on so research station then how radio colored penguin is uh, walking through the ice some of the dissections going on human recent human habitation at the end bibliography glossary this is very important because there are few oceanic terms which we may not understand then there is a index yes so this is the book very good very good book on ecology of the far south and antarctic